was quite obvious. That was obvious all the wrong people. You think we have asked for my opinion? Wait a minute. What's up? Uh, since Onar announced he was hiring mercenaries, the court's been overflowing with nothing but rogues. All the rabble who didn't have the guts to come out of the woods before are here now. The bastards really came from everywhere. The mercenaries came from everywhere? Most of them came from the penal colony. Another group of mercenaries came from the south, where they were probably hunting orcs. I bet that a few of the bandits from the mountains have shown up as well by now to get a free meal, huh? Hello, I'm new here. Don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not really in the mood for conversation. I'm totally wrecked. You're awfully busy, huh? You can say that again. Bennett makes so many weapons that I can hardly keep up with the polishing. What can you tell me about the farm? This is Onar's farm. That big building is his house. He vacated a wing for the mercenaries. We farmers have had to bunk in the barn ever since. But it's all right with me. It's good that we have people who guard the farm. The building here is the kitchen. Maybe you'll be lucky and Thecla will have something for you to eat. What about the mercenaries? Onar hired them to keep the city militia off our backs. But they also guard the farm, the sheep, and us farmers. So don't even think about stealing anything or rummaging around in somebody's chest. They're just waiting for a chance to knock you down. Can I buy weapons from you? I don't have much. We take almost all the swords and axes into Onar's house. sell any weapons. Khaled does. He's in the house with Onar. What kinds of weapons do you make? Plain swords at the moment, not much else. But if I had some magic ore, I could forge weapons that are better than all comparable weapons made from regular old steel. You wouldn't happen to know where to find some around here. Besides in the Valley of Mines, I mean. No, of course not. Are you with the farmers or the mercenaries? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? I was just curious. Have you ever seen a farmer who also forges weapons? No. Then why do you ask such stupid questions? That's all just gossip. I want to join the mercenaries. Stop blabbering, then. Go to Torloff and let him put you to the test. I've passed the test. Good. I'll vote for you, then. Can you teach me how to forge a sword? Sure. That'll cost you a bit, though. Let's say 30 gold pieces. Fine. Here's 30 for you. That was a damn good price, too. We can start as soon as you're ready. Teach me how to forge magic ore weapons. But you don't even know the basics. First, you need to learn how to forge a decent sword. Then we'll see. What about forging equipment? What do you need? Nobody will ever ask me for my opinion. I've got my own opinion about that. That's all just gossip. That was quite obvious. Do you want to make that up? What are you doing here in my kitchen? Something smells delicious here. Oh, yes. I know the likes of you. They're swarming all over the place. 
First they try to get on your good side, and then when you need them, they're nowhere to be seen. He thinks it's as easy as I'm hungry. I don't dish out food to tramps. I only feed people who work. And that mercenary riffraff, of course. I'm looking for work. You want to work here on the farm? Only Onar can decide that. The farm is his, and so is the entire valley. Actually, I was planning to join the mercenaries. So you're another of those felons from the penal colony? I might have known. Just leave me alone. There's already enough of your kind around here. There have been all kinds of rumors. I need a place to sleep. Don't even think about sleeping in my kitchen. Go find yourself a place in the barn. I used to say that myself. Why haven't I heard about this before? Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I was in the colony too. Right. What do you want? It's totally obvious. How's the situation? Right no now, we've got real trouble. Two factions are building up amongst us mercenaries. Silvio and his people doubt that Lee is following the right plan. How come there are two factions? Most of us came out of the colony with Lee back then, but some of the mercenaries hooked up with us later. They didn't come from the colony, but were farther south fighting the Yorks. Somehow they got wind that Lee needed people. Their leader was Silvio. He agreed that Lee was in charge, but now he's trying to stir up the mercenaries against him and his plan. A lot of Lee's people don't think that it's a big problem, but I know guys like Silvio. He'll go to extremes to realize his ideas. Why haven't I heard about this before? You just have to listen. Do you know what Lee's intentions are? Lee wants us to wait and starve the paladins in the city. He is planning to get us all away from the island and Enos knows I've got nothing against getting away from here. I don't really know how he's planning to go about it, but I trust him. He's led us well so far. Do you know what Silvio is planning? Silvio found out that some of the paladins have moved out to the old colony. He says the rest of the paladins wouldn't dare to attack us here and wants to take advantage of the situation plunder the small farms, waylay the militia patrols outside the city, hold up travelers, things like that. But Lee thinks that would be the worst thing we could do in our situation. I want to become a mercenary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Where's the problem? Well, I either have to vote for you or against you. And in the situation we're in, I'll only vote for you if I can be sure that you're on Lee's side. So what should I do? Simple. Beat up a few of Silvio's boys. That way both sides will know exactly where you stand. And if you stick to the rules for a duel, you'll even win the respect of the others. Do you really think? What are the rules for a duel? Go to Torloff and let him explain it if you're interested. Just so we understand each other. I don't care if you stick to the rules or not. Just as long as the boys wind up out cold in the mud. Which of the mercenaries are Silvio's men? There are six men. First of all, Silvio himself and his right-hand man, Bulko. Then there's Rod, Sentenza, Fester, and Raul. The rest of the people are either neutral or on Lee's side. How many of Silvio's people should I defeat? If you knock three of them to the ground, then you've proven which side you're on. Whom you choose is your business. Just one little hint. This isn't about proving your courage. Don't go up against Silvio himself. He'll make mincemeat out of you. It can't go on like this forever. All that was worth is. I never knew that. That isn't true. You mustn't believe everything. It's as easy as that.
Hey. What are you doing here? I'm preparing for battle. Why? Lately, the farmers have had more and more problems with field raiders. A few of them even managed to get themselves eaten. Fat Onar didn't exactly find that amusing. None of us got our pay for a week, and it was more or less my fault. Now Lee wants me to wipe out the creature's nest by myself, and the other boys have already made bets on whether I'll survive. Are you a good fighter? I'm fair with a sword, but with a bow, I'm very good. Why do you ask? Where's the nest? In the middle of the field here, in the big rock. We could attack that nest together. You want to help me? Why? I want to join you. Oh, so that's the way it is. You want to prove how good you are. All right. Let's attack the beast together. Let's attack the nest. Right now? Or do you need to equip yourself first? You could go back to the farm first. There's no time like the present. Good. Then let's see what you got. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. One less monster around. One less monster around. So, this is where they drag the dead farmers. Disgusting. The filthy things should all be wiped out now. Let's go back. Nothing to be had there. Hey! What about our agreement? Well, I could get you accepted, Bias, but I won't. And why not? If I tell everybody that you helped me, they'll hit me with a new assignment. You understand I don't dig that, don't you? Capiche? Well, tough luck, kid. I'm sure you'll find someone else to help you. I think your hide could do with another tanning. I don't like having my leg pulled. Don't make me cry.
Oh man, my head. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? How are things? What do you want from me, Weenie? And that's the truth. It was just like you said. Can't rely on Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? Listen, boy. It takes a lot of strength to wield a two-handed weapon. should have known better. Why don't you slink off to the pasture for a game of ring around the rosy with the sheep? I couldn't care less. I am strong enough. Nonsense. You couldn't even lift a decent sword like mine. I used to say that myself. I said I am strong enough. Oh, you're killing me. Wanna risk a little bet? I bet I can handle your sword. Really? Hmm. How much should I relieve you of? Well, you look like a poor sucker. Let's make it 30 gold pieces. Do you even have that much? Sure. Let me see, then. Here. All right, let's see how strong you are. About this strong. Looks like you got me there. I never expected that. You really don't look like you have that much strength in you. Tell me that isn't true. Well, I guess I just lost 30 gold pieces. Here you are. Now give me back my weapon. There's more, believe me. I think not. What was that? I think I'm gonna keep it a little longer. Just you wait, you bastard. Oh my Don't you try that again. Wait a minute. All right, you win. What do you want? That was quite obvious. I couldn't care less. Here's your sword back. High time, too. It can't go on like this forever. Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? I'm not a bad fighter, but that doesn't mean I'm a good teacher. Still, I think I can show you the basics of two-handed combat anyway. I want to improve my two-handed fighting skills.
You're getting better already. That was no big deal. I want to join the mercenaries. Okay, I don't carry grudges. You can fight, and that's what counts. Most of the lads here think nothing of a little brawl amongst friends. You'll get used to that. As far as I'm concerned, you're in. That's been known a long time. You tell me. Really? Been there, done that. Is it really true? Yeah, been there, done that. I've got no time for things like that. Yeah, been there, done that. But he knew that all No one really wants to hear that. Nobody will learn anything from me. Nothing I have to say that myself. No idea, you tell me. No one really wants to hear that. No idea, you tell me. I couldn't care less. Hey, you! What do you want? I want to have a look around the farm. Don't go into the building on the left. Silvio's in there. He's not in a good mood right now. No if he sees a weakling who doesn't belong on the farm, no he might get the idea of venting his bad mood on him. There's more of it here. I want to join up with Lee. Lee won't have much to say around here if he keeps on this way. What do you mean? He wants us all to sit around here and twiddle yeah, our thumbs. Intimidate a few farmers now and then, and that's it. Really Silvio that always it. says offense is the best defense, and damn right he is. I'll stay out of there. Who is Silvio? Our next leader, if you ask me. If you plan on asking him if you can join us, forget it. You look like you're barely good for herding sheep. You have to no step secret. in and sort things out. It's no secret. They hardly know who to believe these days. You just have to listen to who to believe these days. I'm not telling you anything. Happen sooner or later. I've got to make time hey. things like that. What do you want this time? No one really wants to hear this. Methinks I'm gonna punch you in the face. What? That's exactly what you need right now. I've been That's too nice to you so far, haven't I? Same old thing. All of oh my God! Slug him! Nothing amazing. Finish him! Carry that yourself. Go ahead, hit back. Let Slug him have him. it. Finish him. Carry that. It hurt. Finish him. Yeah. Let him have it. Slug him. Slug him. Push ahead, hit back! Push ahead, hit back! Finish him! Not bad. Put down that weapon, see? That wasn't so hard. I've got my own opinion about that. I've got no time for things like that. That was obvious all I used to say that myself. It can't go on like this. It was his decision, wasn't it? That was obvious all along. I used to say that myself. It can't go on like that. No we'll secret. see about that. Wait a minute. All right, all right, you win. What do you want? It can't go on like no this idea. Forever. You tell me. I'd like to become a mercenary here. Do you mind? Ah, uh, do whatever you want. Nobody wants to know. Of course we got him in the end. He never would have thought of that himself. Hey! How many of Silvio's men are still on my list? Rod looks a little worse for the wear. Fester tried to take me for a ride. That was his mistake. I went to see Raul, and he was badly in need of a proper licking. 
That's enough. That's enough. I'm impressed. If Lee asks me, I can vote for you without hesitation. That's all just gossip. 